hey guys welcome back to my channel and uh, this is another video on flutter and this time we are going to discuss about flutter animations so uh, when we talk about animations uh, we need to discuss about the basic animations first and then we'll move on to a little bit of complicated animations uh, with using tweens so first I'm going to show you how you can do the basic animations and then we'll move on to tweens so let's just begin so right now I have created this project and called it as animation and uh, I have also gone ahead and uh, run the emulator so that I don't waste any of your time. Right now we have an app bar and it's wrapped up in a material app as well and this thing is wrapped up in a skateboard. Uh, so we'll go ahead and build the body of it and I'm planning to build a container, uh, a box and I'm trying to animate that box. So let's just go and do that. So we would have a body, uh, we want to keep the box in the center so we will have the center rigid. Let's just do a column because uh, we want the whole thing to be wrapped up inside of a column and also should have a main axis of center but we'll do that later. Let's just give it children, uh, inside of the children it should have a container, it should be the box. So let's give it a width of maybe 200 width of 200 and the height of 200 as well and it should have a text should have a child of text which should say that maybe um, I will animate and let's just see how it looks so it should be somewhere at the top right now because I haven't given the main axis alignment as well yeah, it's uh, in here, but you can't see the box because there is no color. So let's just go ahead and add a color to it. Let's say I want it to be colors dot uh, light blue, light blue ASIN maybe, and just refresh it. And you'd be able to see the box right now, I think. Yeah, so there is the box. Now uh, the text is not centered, which is not nice. So we would go ahead and make the text centered as well. So let's just uh, delete the child property here and let's just call it a center and put the child okay put the child text and then this text in there so that the child so that the text is also wrapped up in a center widget and that way we are making sure that the text we are passing is also in the center i think the text should be centered now uh, yeah the text is centered but we can't see anything like literally anything so we have to make it a little bigger so we can do that by giving it a text style of uh, let me just put it down text style of font size uh, maybe 20 20 works i think uh i sh think it should be nice mm, maybe 25 uh yeah 25 is good so we have this right now but it's uh, there's a problem that it's attached to the top and we don't want it uh, for this project I think I want it to be in the center so we can do that by uh, going to the column wrapper column widget and uh, say it should have a main axis alignment of main axis alignment dot center which makes it stick to the center of the application and I think it should work okay so we have our box our blue box which will animate and it's already in the center so right now we need to do uh, animations so we would need a handler which handles the animation and uh, obviously there should be a trigger so let's say the trigger is a button and the way we create uh, buttons in flutter is uh, by calling a raised button so let's say we have raised button let's just give a comma and uh, let's just say we have set the on press to nothing right now and it should have a child of text which says press press to trigger or press to animate press to animate and uh, we should see the button at the top yeah press to animate or so right now it's uh, not doing anything because there's no on pressed method on pressed handler which is handling the animation so let's go ahead and make that uh, so let's say we have uh, two parameters uh, double double width let's say double width of maybe 200 and uh, double height of 200 
so it's uh, these two values are essentially the same which I kept at the bottom width and height so just so that uh, you know so that uh, you can go ahead and replace it with the width and height which you have already given on the top so if you do that and if you just uh, if you refresh it it'll still be the same because you have uh, defined it at the top of the class made it global and then we're calling it from here so now we have to change it by doing uh, some kind of a handler method so let's say I'm giving it a void update uh, animations or update box let's say update box and uh, and this should be this should have a set state method which changes the state so let's say the underscore width is uh, becoming uh, maybe 300 and uh, the underscore height is becoming 300 as well so we are hard coding the values of width and height and uh, so in the on press method we just have to go ahead and uh, call this function which we just created and uh, if we refresh it it should work it should grow basically uh, so right now uh, if we click on this button this box should increase from uh, 200 200 width and height to 300 300 width and height so let's just try that and yes it is working but it is uh, pretty bad and pretty linear uh, we don't see uh, the smooth animation going on there so to do that we have to change this container to an animated container which is a widget provided by flutter uh, which is this one the animated container now the animated container by default uh, takes a duration which is the what should be the duration of your animation so let's just say we want to have a duration of maybe you can give hours you can give milliseconds I'm just gonna go with milliseconds uh, so I would say let's say we want to have it three seconds so just uh, hot restart it again so that everything goes back to normal goes back to the previous state and if I click on it, it you see a gradual increase in the size uh, that's yeah so it is pretty slow because it's going all uh, going on for three seconds it's taking uh, three seconds to go from 200 to 300 it's pretty slow uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a 600 which is 0.6 seconds so it's gonna be pretty fast and look nice so let me just do that yeah so it is good but uh, it is pretty linear now as well it is of course it is uh, growing uh, it's better than before but it's still pretty linear so to change that Flutter provides us some parameters called as curve so what a curve does is you can have options like ease in bounce in bounce out and all this uh, these basically add a little bit of uh, you know uh, change uh, in the magnitude of your animation they have an ease in and ease out property they add uh, better transitions to your animations so let's try out a few examples to see what they actually do so let's say ease in back this will be uh, you know uh, fast uh, slower at the initial stage and faster at the end yeah so let me just show that again so it's it takes a little bit of time and then it goes uh, very fast towards the end so that's what the, is uh, ease in back does but we are going to go with maybe bounce uh, out because that is a good uh, animation property so let's just try that again and uh, you'll see it bounces back once it reaches the full potential like once it reaches the full width and height of 300 it will just have a bounce effect yeah let me show that again in case you didn't see it clearly uh, yeah so there you have a bounce effect now it is uh, pretty static right now because once we have formed this animation there is no way to go back so let's go ahead and change that by um, maybe making a trigger so the way we make a trigger is uh, let's say we add a count variable so let's say I want an int count which is equals to zero and uh, on the on press where's the on press so on the on press I pass the count and uh, I do a count plus plus so uh, since we have passed the count variable in the update box we also need to catch it and from here so let's say it's int count so you're catching this value int count in the update box now the way we are going to uh, make a trigger is 
uh, the count is always going to be like a zero then a one and a two and a three so it's uh, increasing by an interval of one so what we can do is maybe have an even odd check so let's say if count modulus of two z equals to equals to zero so once it will be even once it will be odd so it will always trigger uh, on the basis of what you click so let's say if it's even which is this case mod two is equal to zero which means it's even so let's say we have a set state method and it changes the state to maybe 400 or just keep it to 300 and uh, let's also add a color for fun uh, but let's just copy this first and uh, paste it again and let's say the width goes back to 200 which is which it was previously uh, the normal uh, width height and width so let's also add maybe a color property of uh, let's say change color and that is equals to color dot maybe light blue accent which was the previous the original color so if it's even which means you're clicking on it and it's changing so i want the color the change color to be equals to colors dot maybe light green and it'll be a nice transition there and uh, if not if it's an odd if it's an odd count which is i uh, which is not like not the even one this is the even one if it's an odd one so go back to the previous color which is change equals to colors dot light blue isn't and you just have to replace the color in this one uh where's the color yeah color in this one with uh, the change color attribute which you just updated at the top and so if i go ahead and perform a hard restart and i uh, check the application again uh, you will see that the color changes as well as the size and you can toggle it back and forth so if i click on it it changes the color and it grows and if i click on it it grows back and then you have a nice animation going on there and because of the bounce back bounce out property it's also looking pretty pretty smooth and flexible so there you go that is how you do basic normal animations with flutter but what if you don't want to do it and you want to do it with tweens so what are tweens the tweens are like classes that gives you interpolation values uh, so basically let's say you have uh, anything uh, any value between 1 to 10 so tween provides a beginning state and an end state and you can basically interpolate values outside of this range uh, it always takes a value of 0 to 1 but maybe you have a different value so what it does is it animates uh, if within a given range and it basically gives you a very smooth animation so let's see how we can do it so to add a tween we would need to we would need vsync so, and for vsync we would need to uh, add the single ticker provider because we are basically playing around with uh, a widget which should have state mixing and uh, therefore we would also need animation controller animation animation controller and call it a uh, controller underscore controller we would need animation of color as well because right now what we are trying to animate is the color property of it and uh, we are going to focus on color tween in this video so let's say it is animation let's just give it a good space and we would need uh, to update all these values and like uh, set proper objects to these values uh, to these attributes so to do that we would uh, need to do all of that in the init state because it overrides the properties so we would say something like an override and void init state inside of the void init state we have uh, the super dot init state of course it's calling the previous values and uh, let's just go ahead and update the controller so the controller will be equals to animation controller and the animation controller takes in a duration of course so the duration should be again in hours or millisecond depends i'm gonna give it a millisecond uh, and uh, the millisecond should be let's say mm, 600 it should be pretty fast and uh, the vsync should also be provided which is this the context of the class which we are already in which is this one the home page state so the vsync is this and uh, we have already uh, given it uh, this property we just need to close it and we would now look into the animation 
so the animation which is this one which is the animation of the color which we are uh, focusing on now so the color is already blue and we need to change it so we need to provide a beginning and end color as well because that's what tween is for we always set a begin and end so let's say we have color tween and the color tween will be begin begin from let's say colors colors dot uh, light blue ascent and uh, let me try it with a different color so that you understand it better let's say we have colors dot purple or something light uh, let's say colors dot lime and then end with uh, colors dot mm, I'm not sure let's say mm, purple uh, let's say purple okay so we have a beginning color and an ending color now uh, we also need to animate it with the controller which we already specified before so we created this controller here we added some we initialized it here and now we are calling uh, the animate property on it uh, in here we're passing it as a parameter so what we're trying to say is uh, you have a color tween which should have a beginning uh, of this color which should end at this color and the animate should be should have a controller which is this which means you it should be animated with a within a duration of 0.6 seconds okay now we also need to add listeners to it so that it understands that what it has to do now inside of the add listeners I'm just gonna do a set state method because we are already setting the state at the top so it's let's just keep it empty but yeah okay so I think it's pretty good now uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, uh, just comment this out because we don't need them yet just comment out the width and height as well because we don't need them this one as well we don't need them uh, the count uh, I won't say we need the count but okay so we are commenting out things we don't need just in case uh, so we'd still need a trigger though uh, for the tween to work I'm just gonna show a quick demo of how things look so let's just remove the animated container go back to the previous container so we would obviously need to remove these two parameters which are associated with the animation controllers only so right now we have maybe uh, let's say the width of 200 and let's say the height of 200 again and we have everything again and let's say it has colors the colors will be animation dot value because uh, the colors keep on changing depending on whatever value we have provided it in this one uh, so the animation dot value will be this and this so we are basically uh, giving it the value which is being gradually changed from lime to purple so let's just run this and see what it uh, there is a indentation error I guess okay so I missed the semicolon here and let's just try and run it again and see what happens okay so we have this lime color now now we don't have any way of changing it right now because we don't have we haven't set a trigger yet so the way we can set a trigger is let's say we already have the controller so and we already have the raise button as well and we have it set to press to animate and uh, we don't have any on press method so what we need to do is just write a single line which is controller dot forward once I click on this one uh, it should trigger this controller to forward and it will change from lime to purple so you see the color animations is pretty smooth and smoother than before and it's pretty gradual so that's why uh, tween is preferred over normal animation and I really hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did go ahead and leave a comment down below uh, if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer them and I think that's it for this one have a great day bye bye